Spring already started. Uh, good evening, everyone, and welcome to the Plasto Board of Selectmen meeting for March 16th, 2020. I'd like to call this meeting to order at 6.30 p.m. Uh, Beth, may I have a roll call, please? Select Chair, Ms. Hart? Here. Select Vice Chair, Mr. Kishka? Here. Selectman, Mr. Italian? Here. Selectman, Mr. Ranlat? I mean, excuse me, Selectman, Mr. Blinn? Here. And note for the record, Town Manager, Mr. Pearson is here. All right, thank you. Um, would you all rise for the Pledge of Allegiance, please? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the So first item agenda is to um, approve the meeting minutes of March 2nd. I'll make a motion to approve the meeting minutes of March 2nd. All right. Is there a second on that? I second a motion. All righty. Discussion? No? All right. All those in favor? Aye. 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 All right. Motion carries 4-0-0. Uh, there does not appear to be anybody here for public comment, so we are just going to go right into... Our first agenda item, which is a swearing in of our brand new selectmen. So, Jay, would you come on up? And uh, Greg is going to administer the oath of office to you. I, Jay I, Jay Roach, do solemnly and sincerely swear and affirm, do solemnly and sincerely swear and affirm, that I bear faith and true allegiance, that I bear faith and true allegiance to the United States of America, in the state of New Hampshire, in the state of New Hampshire, and will support the Constitution thereof, and will support the Constitution thereof. So help me God. So help me God. I, Big King, I, J. Roach, do solemnly and sincerely swear and affirm, do solemnly and sincerely swear and affirm, that I will faithfully and partially discharge, I will faithfully and impartially discharge, and perform all duties incumbent upon me. As selectman for a term of three years, as selectman for a term of three years, according to the best of my ability, according to the best of my ability, agreeable to the rules and regulations, agreeable to the rules and regulations of this constitution, of this constitution, and the laws of the state of New Hampshire, and the laws of the state of New Hampshire. So help me God, so help me God. All right. <laughs> Congratulations. <laughs> so you may have a seat. And uh, we are very excited to have you on board, and we're really looking forward to working with you. Glad to be here. Thank you. Um, you, you can touch base with Greg a little bit later on after the meeting, and he'll give you um, kind of an orientation as to what you should be getting and, and all that other stuff. So you can wait till after our meeting for that. Great. All right. And do you need to give that to Beth? Yeah, you, you um, we'll have to wait for Jay to sign it, and then we all sign All right, why don't we wait for all the signatures at the end of the meeting, okay. unless you want to do it right now. Okay. So the next item on the agenda is the election of Board of Selectmen Officers. I'd like to make a motion to nominate <clears throat> Francine Hart for the position of chair. All right. Thank you. Um, I second is, the motion. You second the motion. Okay. Is um, there a discussion on that by any chance? All right, seeing none, um, all those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? No. Uh, abstain? Okay, so the motion carries 3-1-0. Um, and I would like to put a motion on the floor um, to recommend Greg Talon as the vice chair. I'll second that motion. 
Okay, um, discussion on that? No, okay, so all those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Oh, no, wait, you know what? I screwed up that last motion. D did you vote yes? yes. Okay, so that I was 410, I'm sorry. I'm so used to doing the four zero zeros. okay. So this motion carries 500. Zero, zero. Okay, great. Thank you. All righty. So the next item agenda is our water grant and our certificate of authorization. I'm going to let Mark talk a little bit about that. Yes. So after last Monday's meeting up in Concord, I received from uh, Gene Forbes uh, through New Hampshire DES <clears throat> a uh, paper that you have in front of you uh, today. I think they got it in their folder. They do. Um, that uh, it's just an additional authorization that they require for this grant. And uh, let me get my hands on it. Um, so it's called a certificate of vote of authorization. So it's one extra certificate that they need in the package. I've done this before for similar grants where prior to going to the executive council, we had to take another motion to so that they have it in the package to um, actually know that the board has authorized the town manager to do certain things. In this case, um, so you, you know what the uh, substantive, uh, you know, agreement is, is, is to accept uh, $10 million, $112,202 with an asterisk that that number could go higher depending on um, other things that they find. So it's a, uh, it, it's more of just a function of um, that they need this certificate and it and this motion that you make will be the um, actual document that will be um, uh, notarized to be in the package that you've authorized me to perform all the signatures necessary for ten million one hundred and twelve thousand two hundred and two dollars. So, like I told you, if you're not in favor of this and you vote this down, we won't get ten million, and I will have a normal life for the next <laughs> two or three years. So. If you vote in the affirmative, I'm not going to have a normal life for the next two to three years. He's asking us to vote no. Are you asking for a normal life? <laughs> um, Make a motion Mark. to grant authority right. for Plastow Town Manager Mark A. Pearson to sign grant agreements with the State of New Hampshire Department of Environmental Services for the Potable Water Project. Second the motion. Is there, um, I just had a quick question. Um, is, is this kind of a blanket authorization for the other forthcoming grants, or do we have to do this every time we get a grant for um, this water project? Yeah, so this is different. This is a certificate that moves forward with a package to the governor and council. Once the governor and council, uh, assuming that they approve this, which mm -hmm. I have no reason to believe that they won't, then I'll be coming back to you with the actual grant for you to accept the grant. Oh. Okay. So what that's a different, right. that's a different right, one. Right. But, I'm hoping just for the sake of advertising and noticing the public that we can do it as right. a blanket. Uh, right. and, and I'll try to, you know, Greg had an interesting suggestion. He wanted to approve it when we get to that point for up to, say, $11 million so that we don't have mm -hmm, to keep on mm -hmm, coming back. Mm -hmm. But I'll let you decide between now and then if that's what you want to do. Uh, if, you, if you just approve what's been approved by the that's government council, um, That's all we get, we can right? come back. We can come back at some other point and say, well, there's some additional grant money. Mm -hmm. But it's up to the board. You can think about it before your right. next meeting. All right. And it may make be better before, sense. Be, it would be something like in May or June when I come for you to grant because we have to do a public hearing. Mm -hmm. We don't have to do a public hearing for this because this is, a, this right. is a, just a certificate of authority for me to sign. Right. Okay. All right. And it almost would make better sense to do up to X amount of dollars because that's the way we have approved other motions before when boards have come to ask for requests for money. So we may want to consider that similar process. All right. So if there's, is there any more discussion on this? It's Jay? just uh, this $10 million, this is going to be money to get this project going. So put the pipes in the ground and, yes. and, and get off and running, right? Yes. So yeah. there's... Um, Every town has, they use the initial for the town. So we have P1, 2, 3, and 4. Yep. This is broken into four parts. Um, so it's for all four parts. And we're not going to be given a, a check in that amount. What we're going to be given is as we, um, 
have work performed and we get the invoices, then we submit it and then they send it back to us. And the quick turnaround is, is very quick because these funds stand on their own right now, the Drinking Water Revolving Trust Fund and the MTBE. So, uh, and they're already doing it in Winham and Salem and, and Hawk. So it's a quick turnaround because that was my question because of the large amounts about our cash flow because mm -hmm. what I didn't want is our cash yeah. flow to be yeah. hurt. Yeah. So realistically, no. Um, the way we're going to try to set it up is we don't use any of our cash. What we do is is we get the invoices, we submit it, and then they, okay. they get the payment. And, and we're kind of, we just, Greg's going to handle that as an enterprise fund and it won't affect us because that was one of my concerns early on and, and we've been assured that it's a quick turnaround. Okay. <clears throat> um, any other discussion on this? All right, so all those in favor of this motion say aye. 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 Opposed? Abstain? Motion carries five zero zero. You will not have a normal life. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, the only other item agenda that we have um, under other business, um, in light of the COVID-19 um, issues, um, I would like someone to put a motion on the floor to authorize Mark to expend from our contingency fund without further board approval. So that basically means he doesn't have to come to us every time he expends funds for that. We'll give him a blank check for that. So would someone like to put that motion on the floor? So I'll make a motion that we give the town manager the authority to um, expend from the uh, contingency fund for all uh, expenses related to the um, uh, current virus. Um, event or issue. Okay, and may I have a second on that, please? I'll second it. Okay. Um, is there any discussion on that? I got a question. Sure, Jake, go ahead. Uh, I don't know what types of expenses this would entail, so can you, do you have any examples of what types of expenses? <clears throat> yes, so to date we have, um, ordered some supplies that are the masks. We've ordered additional um, sanitizers and supplies that we need to have on hand. Um, <clears throat> the fire chief is going to be buying some extra protection for the firefighters that um, are not disposable. They're cartridges that can be swapped in and out so they can keep the mask and change the cartridges. We've had to perform some uh, um, work in town that I'll talk to you later. Uh, and non-public about uh, because um, uh, of, of emergency management that they have asked us to do in case of uh, a, like a contingency plan. Um, the other expenses to date, um, I don't think that there's been a whole lot um, where the fire chief is keeping track of it because um, I, I named him the Deputy Emergency Management Director and he's keeping track of it for reimbursement purposes. And we did hear today that anything related to this that is subject to a review process that it's related to this and so forth is going to be reimbursable by up to 75%. So um, that's because they've declared this a state of emergency and so forth. Um, there's no doubt that over the next few weeks or maybe maybe a couple months that um, there'll be things that we don't anticipate. Mm -hmm. um, I'm not real concerned mm -hmm. about um, this. I mean, this is nice to have. The truth of the matter is, is that we will spend from the, we have been spending from the department budgets in anticipation we're gonna get reimbursement um, before the end of the year. We, we think that there'll be enough time. But this would give me just that extra layer in case something really, really out of the ordinary. So it's it's not, you know, this is a case where we're, we're, we're still waiting to see if it's actually going to impact the town or not. Um, I don't really see any large expenses, um, really. I think it's just going to be a combination of smaller expenses that we're going to have to adjust. If we start seeing people go out of work, um, then that would come from the salary lines anyways. It wouldn't be something that I would do this with. Um, so I'll keep the board apprised of the emergency management expenses and anything that's expense related. And then we'll be able to visit this again and then have you be 
the ones to say which fund it comes out of if you want to use it out of this. Because remember, this was established by the voters for unanticipated purposes. This is certainly a category of an un unanticipated <laughs> yes, purpose. So, um, but we got plenty of time before the end of the year. So we'll, you know, um, this is not one that's like a snowstorm or, you know, a, a blizzard where you know that every hour that the snow is out there, there's an expense that's creeping up on you. This isn't really like that. I, I'm going to really say that it's going to be for supplies and things we don't have right now, uh, and but we can't even get them right now, so we're going to wait and see, and maybe we'll get them from the state if we need them. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah. I hope that answers your question. Yeah. Thank you. Um, Mark, is this going to involve any FEMA funds at all, or is this just state at this point? Um, well, I suppose that it might fall under that. Uh, I think it's really going to, no, it's actually, the answer is no, it's going to fall under Homeland Security and it's going to fall under um, um, EMP, EMPG grants, not FEMA. Grant? Okay. Right. It, it, yeah, because th those are grant funds that the state gets every year. So they've already told us today those are the two funds that they'll be looking at. Not FEMA, because FEMA is more for like a natural disaster, disaster. Right. and so forth. All right, great. All right, so um, I believe that concludes our agenda at this point. Um, I would like to remind everyone, please make sure you go through all the signature folders. There's a ton of them there, and there's a m bunch of signatures. The other thing that we need to make sure is that we sign our visions contract before you leave tonight, too. That has to go out tonight. And Julian, go ahead. Yeah, have other business. Um I make a motion that we do not spend any money on the salt shed or the landfill projects at this time until we know the, the economic impact it'll have on our citizens. We don't know people who are out of work now have been told not to go to work. They don't know if they're going to get paid or not. And um, until we find out what's actually going to happen down the road. Go ahead, Mark. I, d I don't believe that that would be a legal motion. I think it conflicts with the voters. The voters voted on on a warrant article. Warrant articles stand on their own. The voters voted for those warrant articles. I don't believe any selectman's vote can unsurp a warrant article. And I think perhaps it's more of a timing issue than a yes or no issue. And I'm going to have to say that we're all intelligent people. We know what the priorities are. and We are certainly not going to be sending out RFPs next week to build the salt shed. Um, people well, have to give us a little bit more credit than well, that. Well, can I, can I just uh, ask a question really about that? Yet. Hold on, hold on, go I, ahead. I fully intended to move forward with, with RFPs for the salt shed, so unless the board is going to tell me not to do that, and, and I don't know why you would do that. All right, go ahead. Um, we didn't have a I'm second not can on that. I'm not canceling a, I'm not suggesting to cancel the project. I'm saying just to withhold because the tax bills come out in, in June, and if people can't pay their taxes and they can't pay them, we're going to have to still pay our bills. We'll have to pay the school bill. We'll still have to pay all the other bills. And we could have a cash flow problem because I don't know where this is going because I can't, I'm not a, I don't have a crystal ball. It, well, that's exactly yeah. the point, I think. Um, the, the issue is, is that we do have um, contingencies for tax anticipation. Nope which would float and cover us for the time being. So um, I, I think that that is a very uh, worthwhile comment, but I think you also have to realize that we're not being reckless or foolish with the town or the taxpayers or the citizens that live here. And so um, if you can still pursue an RFP, that doesn't mean we award the contract. That means we can put it off. As a matter of fact, I'll, I'll tell you right now, we extended the values anew um, contract out six weeks exactly for that reason. So um, I, I will have a tendency to maybe agree that you can't um, stop a voter's vote. And I think if we're, we have half a brain and we're prudent, we will, we will um, do this at the appropriate time. So um, I'm going to disallow that motion. What are your thoughts? Um, <clears throat> totally you can still subject. talk. Yeah. Um, I've <laughs> talked to a couple right. of people in the BD area who um, are having a hard time getting water because the bottled water situation has already dried up. Problem. Okay. So I don't know if there's anything we can do as a town or maybe we can send somebody up to uh, Hale Spring and see if that, you know, the uh, 
spring up there could be revived. Um, do we know who is bringing water to these people? No, because that was, um, that had nothing to do with uh, my office since I've been here. So um, that was more in agreement with Beatty on providing them with water. And that's just a reimbursement. And it's a reimbursement, yeah. And that's kind yeah. of the issue okay. that John's bringing, okay. is that the See, source is not the state. Right. It's they buy the water, then they get reimbursed. Okay, okay. So, okay, so it's not actually, excuse me, it's not water, it's just the reimbursement for the water? Is that what I'm saying? No, they no, can't no. find it. The, no. They're going, it's not there. All right. So the point that I was trying to say was that the issue is uh, the way it's set up. They purchase the water themselves, and then BD reimburses them for that cost. Right now, there's no water to buy. And that's the point that John's making. Right. So it's an availability issue. It's not, you know, well, it's already being paid for. It's not for us to do, but basically, right. it's, he's raising an issue that there's an availability for a group of citizens that, that normally would get water from the local stores. Right. So why don't I do this? Why don't I reach out to the BD people who ironically um, sent me some correspondence today? Because they're going to be closing down some of their operations. Yes, Michael. Skinner. So why don't I reach out to them since it is their mm -hmm. issue with the reimbursement, and why don't I shift the burden to them to find the water for the people? Because they would know by the reimbursements how much water people needs, mm -hmm. and I'll try to get them to do it direct and and take us out of the middle. We're not in the middle now. Why should we put ourselves in the middle? Right. To, but we, to, we, to your point about the Hill Spring. So I became familiar with that recently. We're we're testing that because that's part of the state testing. Uh, because they wanted to test all of the state wells. So the, so I told them to go ahead with all of the testing, and there's a little bit of, I want them to test for everything, PFOA, PFAS, everything. So there was a little bit of a, an additional expense to what they were offering, but since they're going to do the testing, I said, we'll pay the extra to just do it. And I authorized that for all of our town wells with the exception of the one at the cemetery, because quite frankly, you know, that water wasn't going to be for drinking purposes or whatever. So um, I... Um, Hail Spring was one of them. So we don't have the results back. But to your point, I guess we'll know very shortly if that can be used and resurrected. And that's a, that, that could be a nice alternative. Um, so actually, ironically, we're working on that. And oh, we'll, we might have an answer. We definitely need to make yep. sure we take care of our citizens. I'll call BD. Right. I'll call them tomorrow, Mike Skinner. And, right. uh, and we'll, we'll reach right out to them right and away. Would you let the board know sure. the disposition of this? Sure. Is anybody in critical state right now at this point? Yeah. They didn't state, but, you know, people are starting. Nervous. They're getting yeah, nervous. They're getting nervous. Sorry. Okay, thanks for bringing that up. That's important. I'm wondering if we get our water from MWB Mason, and I'm wondering if any of that is available. In an emergency? Because people are looking for the, you know, the bottles and the gallons, but yeah. this right here yeah. could be a resource. Why don't we right. check with WB Mason tomorrow, and if we find right. that that's an easy solution, we'll just direct the people to WB Mason and just do and that. And then BD would reimburse WB. All right, that makes sense. Okay. Does, um, does Staples do anything like that, too? Or well, they, they, I, they used to sell yeah. water, but yeah. it, it's selling out. Yeah, all right. So we'll explore whatever avenues that we can. All right, is there any more business that we need to discuss before we go into non-public? No. All right. Um, can we have a motion? I'll make a motion that we go into non-public session, RSA 91-A colon 3 to section I, emergency functions. Okay, may I have a second on that, please? I second a motion. All right. Um, may I get a voice vote, please? Yes. 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 Okay, so we will go into non-public at um, 6.55. Who is that?